hello traders at samurai trader here welcome to this training session in today's session I may even split it into two videos we'll just see how we go for time but uh, I'm going to be covering a lot of information mainly from uh, questions from members on various setups uh, conditions and uh, also want to share some ideas with you as you know one of the great things that I love about coaching is I learn probably just as much as what you do or even more when I'm working with someone particularly want to do one-to-one -one coaching and so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I did with a student a few days ago or oh, actually I prefer to call you members now <laughs> rather than students um, and I just want to share some uh, things that we covered and put together I think you'll find really interesting but specifically questions from current members now as we get underway I'm going to be talking about the T19 and the T89 divergence trading I'm going to be uh, quickly going to some Forex charts and show you why I prefer a range chart over a time-based chart we'll have a quick review of the T25 and the 34B based upon some questions from Robin out of the UK and I'm going to be talking about your compelling future and you catching or putting together I should say your compelling future plan I mean we'll, we'll I'll talk more about that when I get to it but what I want to start with is just quickly talking about the simulator now what is really important traders is is this in simulation it is absolutely critical that you start with an amount on the simulator that you are actually going to be trading now of course on simulators you can put in that you're trading a hundred contracts so you're trading a million dollars maybe 50 contracts uh, maybe 20 thirty thousand whatever the figure may be what amount are you going to start with you need to start off with exactly what you're going to be trading with you need to simulate exactly how you're going to be doing it you see we go on the simulator and this is why I see this time after time uh, with traders both new and experienced traders now very quickly we know that over 90% of traders have been losing money we have to stop that and how we do that is we go back and we apply a new set of skills that we learn or retrain ourselves and the most important skill or thing that we need to retrain ourselves on is discipline and we do that by if you like well rewiring our mind on what on the things that we do as an example how we take our trades so what I want you to do and I'm hope I'm making sense here I'm trying to cover a whole lot of things and it's late in the day <laughs> but you know when you use a simulator if you're going to trade futures and you're going to be starting off with four thousand dollars put four thousand on the simulator and trade with that and remember you've got to treat it exactly the same as if you're trading with real money because too many traders start off and they develop and they hardwire this set of bad habits and it's absolutely critical so what I want you to do is to start using the simulator as if you're trading real cash now I don't care if you've got 50,000 to start with a hundred thousand I come across a lot of traders that have a lot of money to trade with and as I say to every single trader irrespective of your net worth you have to earn the right to be trading five contracts 10 contracts 20 contracts 100 you have to earn the right you've got to earn your stripes and you start by trading the minimum you're profitable then you go to two contracts I'm going to show you a spreadsheet in a moment and for members I'm going to upload this uh, into the members area today actually let me write down so I don't forget upload um, Excel sheet on members area I'll make sure I upload what I'm about to cover with you members so you can actually review it change it to a figure that meets you but we've got to go back to basics we've got to re you know this is a skill set it's a set of habits it's about discipline it's about focus uh, and I'm just seeing too many traders breaking the rules being flippant when they use a simulator you've got to uh, you know if you if you go to flight school and you keep crashing the plane in in the flight simulator they're never going to let you fly real time likewise you've got to be trading profitable on the simulator okay enough of that one <laughs> um, so let's uh, get into this well of course everything uh, I'm going to be covering here is in the day traders fast track program 
um, if you're a general uh, from the general public please go to my website if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do right now click the button and subscribe so you're kept up to date and if you don't already own my program it'll be the last $197 you ever need to invest in your education you'll learn all of these setups you get put into the members area and a whole lot more so I don't want to promote myself too much on this video but please go and download my ebook uh, come along and become a member now uh, of course uh, understanding the risk my members you would have uh, read this <laughs> many times by now if you're new to my channel please read the risk you don't trade with money you can't afford to uh, lose but most importantly gain the right education now I love this little diagram and you've probably seen it in the training videos before wait wait listen to me we don't have to be just sheep traders leave the herd yeah you know don't scratch around with turkeys become an eagle eagle soar alone you know you've got to start to do this correctly and trade correctly which means drawing up a business plan taking yourself to a new level now one of the greatest challenges I find with new traders and even experienced traders uh, you know many traders are what I call shell-shocked they've had a rough time they've damaged their, um, their self-esteem uh, they have a lot of self-doubt now in my program because I teach you so many things I want you to start with one or two trade setups one or two and start from there otherwise you will suffer from information overload it's very very important likewise for my new members I've sent you a separate email with the top trade setups I want you to start with and focus on only one or two at a time and give yourself time remember we're not here you know once again if you want just want to blow your money you know go on a holiday if you're serious about learning to trade start with one and build from there now I'm about to go into a spreadsheet something that I put together with this one-to-one uh, -one client who has a lot of capital to trade with but we sat down and put together a realistic trading plan that suits his personality now traders you need to have a compelling future and as I say here a poor man or woman is not a man or woman without a cent but a man or woman without a dream you've got to have a dream on where you want to take your trading career and you've got to have a plan so what I want to do is show you this particular plan that I put together with this client and he asked that actually that I don't use his name because uh, he will be in the live trading room but this is what we put together with him now in his particular case he has very substantial funds to start trading with however as mentioned earlier it's critical that you start by trading one contract and he's going to trade futures now one of the great advantages of course in trading Forex you can trade many a micro accounts so you can start with a lot less than five thousand dollars now in this particular business plan following my 1000 volume plan he knows his risk will never be more than 1.75 per contract 1.75 percent I should say and the target is two hundred dollars per day now hopefully you've gone the full screen so you'll see this now in his particular case after taking my advice he's not going to follow what the brokers constantly promote the brokers promote well look you only need a, an intraday margin of five hundred to a thousand dollars per contract you trade when trading futures but of course what happens say if you've only got a $1,000 margin let's remember that if you lose uh, say six ticks $75 plus your uh, $5 uh, in commissions that's it's uh, $80 that's 8% of the capital in your account you have three losing trades in a row you're down 24% and you're starting to really sweat traders this is a plan if you stick to you'll develop um, uh, you know the right habits yes it's going to take you some time some weeks some months to get perhaps where you really want to go but let me just show you the power of compounding uh, your returns over a period of time and this is assuming here that you don't need to live on any of the money so starting with a five thousand dollar capital and earning two hundred dollars a day on average 
now to do that traders I recommend you be targeting 300 a day while you've got to allow for down days you are going to have down days but you should only have one or two out of ten so you want to target 300 for a net 200 so what that means is at the end of week one we're up to 6,000 end of week two we're up to seven end of week three we're up to eight end of week four we're up to nine end of week five we now have 10,000 in our trading account which now means we can start trading two contracts and now we're earning two thousand two thousand a week so end of week uh, six we're 12,000 seven 14 end of week uh, eight we now up to 16,000 and we can now start to trade three contracts and our total capital is 16,000 so you can follow this down but by week 20 we're trading 20 25 contracts and we've earned for the week uh, $25,000 in 20 weeks in five months and look at our capital growing and if we go to the next chart we can see here by week 34 or actually if we, if we look at this here week 27 we're up to um, uh, 89 contracts being traded there would be earning $89,000 a week now let me put a couple of caveats here traders you may be more comfortable with 100 a day you may be after 400 a day which many traders achieve consistently 400 a day traders ask me why don't I trade 100 contracts a day or 100 each day or I should say each lot because traders it doesn't suit my personality that is I feel comfortable trading a 10 lot I earn fantastic a fantastic income from that two to four hundred five hundred a day per contract that's a great lifestyle no pressure getting up to around a hundred contracts a day okay you're piling the pressure on even if you've got the trading account now the, the you know if we get back to the myth of a multi-million dollar trader um, I know only a handful of traders from 20 odd years of trading that are trading 100 contracts at a time the majority trade between 1 and 20 contracts per lot um, that's all per uh, per position that's all they trade it's not true about the other uh, professional trader trading yes there might be one in every two or three hundred traders that trade 100 to 200 lots at a time but they're they're very far um, you know there's just not many of them that do that because it comes down if it's your money psychologically it's totally different when you're trading uh, if you're a prop trader it's a total different story if you're trading the bank's money it's not your money it doesn't matter but go to the members area if you want this spreadsheet and uh, because what is a realistic level now I know the 200 to 300 a day is extremely realistic if you're trading two to four hours a day uh, as a day trader that's really realistic so put together a plan that suits your trading style and once again this will be in the members area and before you go live remember you have to earn the right now here's a challenge I'm going to give you start by using the simulator if you're on futures with five thousand dollars and over four weeks five weeks increased it to ten on the simulator before you go to one live remember discipline is like a muscle the more often you use it the better you become at it the other thing traders I want you to do is to start off by trading one or two setups only so let's now go to the charts and have a quick look at a couple of things now what we're looking in front of us is the ES 1000 volume from third actually uh, um, this is Australian time it's 24th of the third uh, it's still Wednesday just turned Thursday uh, so technically in the US this is Wednesday's uh, New York session and uh, uh, down the bottom here you can't really see this this is 9 48 a.m. exchange time I want to walk you through a couple of trades here but the point is um, focus on one or two setups now if you go for the t20s t21s now let, let me just once again define what a t20-1 is all it is is the first trade after a t20 remember the t20s is a change in trend direction now a t20-1 can be a t25 it can be as we've got here it can be a, a t2 it can be a t1 it can be a, a number of our different setups 
but what it means is it's a first trade in a new trend because your first trade uh, in a new trend uh, or after a pullback is going to be one of the best trades you can possibly take so you've got a t21 here you've got here we can see here we've got a t20 very clear t20 uh, here there was no pullback after that one but you had a winning t20 now on this t20 you would have been stopped uh, now remember and, and here by the way you've got a, a, an 89 bounce now you would have been stopped on that one now the t20s on the ES I love taking those on their own before even the pullback remember the NQ traders I recommend you wait for a pullback after you have a clear t20 but before we go any more about that let's talk about divergence trading first of all now I'm asked every day why am I so anti counter trend trading or divergence trading well traders let me correct you I love counter trend trading I love it but I've been doing it for a long time and I'm very disciplined most traders that lose money a very big percentage I've lost their dough because of counter trend trading is you've got to be really careful because with traders we have this belief that the trend just can't keep going and how often have we seen a pullback we think oh, okay it's got to change here and trend continues we see this every day of the week and this is where traders both new and experienced traders get really smashed by counter trend trading now what I've got here on the left here let me just show you on my screen and remember this could be oops sorry about that uh, jump we've got there this here uh, is a t19 now a t19 is really where I just have a standard divergence trading and my entry is inside the channel and traders uh, for those that can't see there's very there's three little lines there which normally I don't have on my chart newer traders if you're going to counter trend trade um, uh, and we'll talk about the t89 I recommend you have these on but please do not consider counter trend trading until you're profitable as a trend trader because look at this here you had a uh, um, just here just you can't see just here but right there you had a beautiful t20 you got a t-21 there okay you've got a, uh, a nice little um, uh, t25 here why can't a trend trade we roll over here you got stopped on that one but you got a nice trade there you got a t25 there another t profitable t20 there okay so what I mean is there's so many profitable trend trades uh, wait until you master on the simulator counter trend trading but be profitable first as a trend trader so what we've got here is a t19 so a t19 we've got very clear divergence on the platinum and with a t19 or a t89 usually you'll get good follow-through now some of the things I like to look for uh, um, are angulation that is where I see my 8 and the 34 moving well away from the 89 and we'll look at that in a moment I want to show you some examples and I love it when price gaps away from the 8 EMA now we then right here let me just uh, I've just got to move something there let me just show you this right here okay you had a classic car uh, then t19 I like to wait for my paint bar and you want to see a close on the 89 and thank you very much that was a really nice trade we had an 89 bounce and then we're into our t21 uh, down from there now this one here if we look at this uh, counter trend trade there there's no real divergence on the indicator okay but what I do want to show you is this one here what I've got here is a very very clear t89 now notice down here I don't have any divergence on my platinum I did have a t10 coming up here just before the uh, t20 but notice how price is gapped right away and it forms what I call a bubble so see price is well away and what is great is really nice about this trade is it's a pivot bounce as well so I've got a pivot bounce off the pivot uh, I've got price right away from the eight so it's snapped up it's bounced off and down we go we had there then a nice t20 
you then have then a nice t-21 and away we go from there so the t89s the entries are outside my channel now it doesn't matter what market you trade whether you be trading stocks forex or futures you will see these every day these are geometric patterns they appear on all time frames in every market remember the markets have a memory you'll see these day in day out in natural fact we've got one down here now in this particular um, I've actually rebooted my computer so there would have been another paint bar and sometimes when I reboot it doesn't um, uh, print both paint bars it actually would have been a paint bar here now for my t89s I want to see my entry outside the channel and we can see here we've got this bubble effect look at price has moved right away from our eight it then uh, with an entry if I had have entered here and I wasn't actually in on this trade this is um, uh, before my uh, time of rising this morning but then it come down and it formed what have we got here we've got then a perfect pivot bounce a perfect double bottom and away it went so the t89s are where I see price action moving right away and not always with divergence now moving along slightly we can see that was uh, good for uh, one two three good six to eight ticks then we went up and, and where is a logical spot for our bounce the 89 and we can see here that we then had a bounce off the 89 now one of the questions that uh, Robbins asked do I always wait for the short-term stoke to roll over on a 34 B or a 25 um, a t25 the answer is no the t25 traders is a momentum trade what you do want to see though is a trending 8 EMA a 34 and an 89 that is you can see up here um, we've had a pullback of two to five candles we've closed down this is an entry now I would have preferred to see a full candle that is an open at the top close at the bottom there is an entry now in this particular case the short-term stoke did agree but to increase the probabilities of successful trading what you do want to see here traders is um, uh, full candles and preferably a two to five candle pullback now what I'm going to do I'm going to stop this um, of this video and go to video two because we are 22 minutes in and uh, so come and join me on video two because there's a lot more that I want to cover